Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. So it's very possible you've come across a topic where it's been around since the birth of full site editing block theming and definitely gets a bit more coverage every time there's a WordPress release. And that is the issue regarding the responsive controls that are non-existent in core WordPress block theming. And it is a shortcoming and lots of folk have been voicing their concerns over the last couple of weeks since 6.6 .6 was released. And it is true if WordPress is a page builder, which it is now, then we got to get some responsive controls. Anyway, so where are they? Where are these responsive controls? Well, there is a kind of reason behind it all, and that is because WordPress core, in, in, a, in a kind of weird way, is wedded to the new style of responsive web design, and that is the intrinsic web design philosophy first introduced and named by the fantastic Jen Simmons back in 2018. It's whereby we get rid of all the media queries and instead use the newer C, uh, CSS math functions like min max and clamp and that kind of thing to actually adjust the sizing in a really fluid way and it really is very slick and that's coming up in the demo shortly and if you're not up to speed with intrinsic web design i would encourage you to pause this video as much as i will miss you go and watch brian gardner's video he did last year where he does a epic 101 introduction plus a reasonable deep dive as well link is in the card and in the description Okay, welcome back if you've just watched Brian's vid and if you stuck around, thank you. You must know a little bit about intrin intrinsic design. Either way, it's about this fluid typography and fluid spacing. And as Brian mentions, it can only get you 90% of the way there. And so we need other tools and other approaches to make up that 10% slack. So in today's vid, I'm going to show you what I do and how I've developed a system that picks up the slack on the old intrinsic design and is now part of my dev setup for every block theme I build. All right, let's get to it. It's WordPress Responsive Design 2024. <laughs> Yes, indeed, responsive, intrinsic. Here we've got a 2024 theme. Fresh install, just made this simple group block here. You see, I've just got a group with some padding on it. So if we grab the width and we make it smaller, you can see how the padding is getting smaller, 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 smaller. And inspect the header. The header's doing the same. Jump to the computed tab. Take, keep an eye on the font size here. You'll see that as we get bigger and smaller, the font size adjusts accordingly. Same with the block there and the, this margin here. Keep an eye on that margin. And that is really cool, right? It really does do what it should be doing. But the big issue is that this is not built in to WordPress core. It's actually got to be part of your theme code. Let me show you what I mean. If we go to 2024 theme here and we look at theme JSON, if we scroll down, we'll get to the spacing parameters and you see that here's our spacing sizes and you see that it starts off and here's the name is this sort of one two three four five thing and one is fixed at one rem and then we get into two three and above we've got the min math function the math function that is min and this is what is controlling that spacing so really cool but this is in the theme files. And unless your theme has this code in it, you don't get intrinsic design out of the box with WordPress. And it's the same with the font sizes a bit further down. If we have a look for our fonts here, you see we've got font size and we see here that our small font size doesn't have any fluid stuff going on. And then into our medium and large and above, you see we've got fluid min and max, which controls that fluid typography. But this is not built into WordPress. This is in the theme files. So if you've got a theme that doesn't utilize this, you don't have any intrinsic design and there's nowhere on the interface to actually change it if you wanted to. It's a fixed size or it's a fixed space. That's it. And that obviously is the big hoo-ha with the community at the moment saying, look, come on, we really need this. But my prediction is that it won't be long before there is something that perhaps is a bolt-on or an opt-in or something that might sort it out. But anyway, we don't have responsive controls in native foresight editing. So we've got to use intrinsic design in our theme.json, which I do with all my sites because I think it's really cool. I mean, there's nothing not to love about the sexiness of how that just scales and changes beautifully with the screen width. But we still come across various issues and it's about that it gets you 90% of the way because, for example, on this little block here, 
if we get to say you know a, a mobile size you know perhaps i don't want it to be beautifully uniformed in the padding maybe i want it to be a little taller because maybe that's a bit skinny if you know maybe we would probably want something more like you know padding 40 at the top 20 below or you could put your rims or whatever and that feels a bit more of perhaps what i'd like to see so there's no, you know there is no other way of doing that other than adding custom css to your theme build putting your media queries in adding a class to whichever element you want to target at that size and putting your css on you know the old-fashioned way breakpoints and to be fair there isn't any other way at this stage of intrinsic design but i found myself doing this so many so many times and it would be custom code in every block theme i was building that i actually developed my own system a plugin in fact which i now install on every theme build and it's a system a little bit like tailwind or something like that along those lines whereby you've got a set of classes that you kind of you can kind of recall from memory and then throw them on whenever you need specific spacing or sizing at specific breakpoints let me show you what i'm talking about so back in our admin i've got my little plugin here responsive block css does what it says on the tin let's activate that and have a look at the code which i've got here so it's just a plugin php file that calls the style css and all it is is a ton of different classes that are kind of easy to remember so if you ever you did want to just throw it on an element as you're building out a page it's just kind of there in your recall and you see we've got different sets of css for padding and we've got margin and i've thrown in a few things like spacer you know the spacer block nine times out of ten you'll need that smaller on a smaller screen and you can see that it's got the tablet version and then we go on to the mobile version and if you want to have a little bit of desktop action as well with some other utility stuff some other utility stuff like reverse columns on mobile reverse rows on tablets etc etc you know if you want to throw fonts in there so you've got that in your toolbox so we'll just grab a random mobile class although i don't need to copy it because i've, I've got it in my instant recall so let's go pad mob zero on our group here open up our advanced tab and on our classes we go pad mob zero save that and have a little butchers on our front end and you see now on mobile we've just completely overridden the theme css and it's all super handy and like i said you can go crazy with how granular you want to make this and before you start shouting at me as it stands this file is only 5k but in conjunction with this on every single site i build i will have some form of on-site caching plugin either perf matters or wp rocket and both of those have the essential feature of removing unused css and if you don't know about that you should do because it helps you google page speed scores because google doesn't like any css on your page that isn't being used for any of the elements and with a click of a button your massive css files are just not rendered on the front end just the actual css for the classes that are used for the elements on the page so this file could be 20 meg and if you only used a couple of classes on the page only those are included on the files delivered to the browser let me show you another example if we get to the home page here it's a kind of feature style box and you can see that i've overridden the padding when it gets to tablet and then when it gets to mobile i've started reducing the padding further when it gets to actual mobile that spacer that was there is now 10px or something like that for example purposes i've actually got rid of all the padding and tweak the border radius so we get this kind of card effect i mean just you know just as an example but i think you can kind of see the point yep it does leave a lot to be desired for responsive controls in the editor but with this system i developed it's super rare that i run into trouble so um yeah give it a go all the code can be downloaded using the link in the description and if you want a bit more block theming action try that one for size but until next time i shall see you later